Antonio Garcia is a Puerto Rican designer, illustrator, DJ, and storyteller who works in tech but loves life offline. Okay, Antonio, you have two minutes. Do you remember? Do y'all remember hot dogs? Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> Step back with me to October 2014. Hot dogs last hurrah, Chicago legend itself. The city is abuzz, foodies are flocking, and there's me clutching a golden ticket. An a la carte $10 off 25 gift certificate. About to expire. For folks from out of town, this wasn't just a coupon to a neighborhood eatery. It was my entry into a vanishing culinary nirvana. A sausage lover's siren song promising four specialty sausage, four orders of duck fat fries, and four sodas. The only catch, it was meant for four people. <laughs> now, I'm not one to waste a good deal, especially when it involves foie gras pommes frites, but every friend I called that day was either out of town, on a cleanse, <laughs> or in Nako's case, training for a hot dog eating contest. <laughs> Appreciate the solidarity, Nako. So there I was, a lone gastronomy in a sea of encased meat enthusiasts, facing a coupon conundrum, a delicious dilemma. So I did what any sensible person would do in the face of impending expiration. I decided to go for it. <laughs> All of it. I stepped to the counter, a mixed placed feeling of pride and impending doom, and I ordered a smorgasbord from Doug just north of $25. Then the feast began, alone in my Toyota Corolla. <laughs> the first hot dog was a masterpiece, a red hot crowned with white onions and neon green relish nestled in a poppy seed bun like a glistening mustard glazed Fabergé egg. The second, a joyous continuation of the first. By the third, I started questioning my life choices. <laughs> and the fourth, it was a gladiatorial match, man versus meat. The duck fat fries, they started as crispy bites of starchy heaven, but transformed into a Herculean task, each salty spud a step closer to my own greasy Icarus fall. <laughs> and the pop? Those root beers weren't drinks, they were lifelines, helping me wash down my overzealous ambition. As I sat there sweating profusely, laughing and wheezing in my car, surrounded by a graveyard of paper wrappers, I realized I was a living scene straight out of Fantasia. Gourmet or glutton, I was the hippo ballerina tiptoeing across that fine line. But amidst the comedic catastrophe, I found clarity. This wasn't just about testing the limits of my appetite and stomach lining, but about embracing life's ludicrous moments, those times when you have to say yes to the absurd, find joy in the unexpected, and maybe, just maybe, eat enough fast food for four. <laughs> so here's to hot dogs, and to those indulgent moments that teach us to savor life one ridiculous bite at a time, and to Nako, who missed out on witnessing me in my solo banquet, but still called to ask later if I had leftovers. <laughs> Classic Nako. <knockout. laughs>